Hi everybody, this is Cindy from Ideas Times 2. Welcome back to our channel. Today I have a flip through of three items that we currently have in our shop. They are all very different from each other, but they all have a common theme and that is strawberries. And I, I don't know why I've been on the strawberry kick lately, but they're just so beautiful and they look so juicy and delicious. And I kind of wanted to transfer uh, those feelings uh, to these different projects. And so the first one I want to start out with is a kit, a uh, junk journal kit. And uh, this kit comes with this uh, cute little journal. It measures, I think it was eight and a half by four inches. And let's double check that. Yep, eight and a half by uh, four and almost three quarters inches. And you can see it's embellished with uh, strawberries on the cover. It's bound, it's one signature, it's bound with green um, thread. And on the inside, <clears throat> it has uh, all different kinds of papers, um, uh, homemade, uh, handmade uh, lace uh, stained paper, some strawberry papers, um, cardstock music, doilies, a little of everything. Um, I have a floating pocket in here and I've just stuck a strawberry tag in there and this envelope, uh, same thing. I just have a small card in there and I've left, uh, I've left them pretty much blank, everything pretty much blank so that they can be embellished. So just a little, little bit of everything, uh, book pages some dyed paper, another floating pocket here in the middle, a paper bag, and uh, the closure is just this hand dyed um, pink um, crinkle ribbon. And along with the kit then it has everything and then some uh, to uh, uh, embellish it. Um, this little bag is closed, um, is stapled shut. I don't want to open it, but it has some uh, paper clips that are shaped like strawberries. And um, here I have a cluster uh, and paper clip and inside the envelope is all sorts of red and green and white. Um, tidbits um, to embellish your journal, some strawberry charms, pink paper clips, um, uh, vintage buttons, uh, a little bit of everything. Some main paper clips, uh, garment pins, probably way more than you could use in one journal. Um, I also have included some little envelopes and cards, different kinds of tags, another pink uh, binder clip this time, some library card catalog cards and some index cards. Um, everything is blank and unembellished so that you can do that. That's the purpose of a kit. Oops. And then of course the bags can also be used. Um, this bag is full of some mini glassine bags, some Uno cards and playing cards. Um, red of course, Uno cards. Here we have some tickets and um, small tags. And then some paper, some cutoffs, envelopes, all sorts of fun stuff. And this envelope has 
book pages. And that was Connacht something. There we go. Um, vintage book pages. All different kinds. There's some poetry, some math, dictionary, some book pages from a guide to growing strawberries, some children's uh, math books, some pages from Jane Eyre, some music pages, and another offcut. So tons of fun stuff to play with um, if you are uh, looking for a gift, somebody who maybe has never done a junk journal before um, but would like to learn. This isn't a good way to start. And so um, this is available in our shop. We'll move that off to the side and grab um, the second project that we have available, the second strawberry project. Um, this is uh, a tra traveler's notebook, and uh, obviously strawberry theme is what we're going for. Um, the closure is um, this red elastic, so the book can be um, filled and it has room to be filled. There are some charms here on the side, strawberry charms, of course, a fabric cover, um, hard cover, uh, handcrafted. And um, yeah, this is a dough a do journal, which means back to back. So there's one journal here on the front and then you flip it over and there's another side and I'll show you that in a sec. So on this side, uh, there's a pocket in the front with a large tag, and these are um, unadorned um, traveler's notebook style. So they slip, slip out, so you can uh, change them out when you, when this is full. And so, all different kinds of papers. Um, pretty much, co most of them are coffee stained. And everything, of course, is strawberries. <laughs> um, and the back has this uh, fabric pocket, and there's uh, some uh, paper stuck in there. And on the other side, and I was thinking of this to be used actually for traveling, not just a traveler's notebook for the sake of being a traveler's notebook. So I thought if you were traveling and you were writing your journal on the one side where it says journal on the other side, there is a place for you to kind of sort your travel, sort and store your travel um, ephemera. So in the front here, there's a pocket, um, this uh, policy envelope, uh, another large uh, paper bag and another bag. Another policy envelope, two small envelopes that are Velcroed shut, and then a large policy envelope here in the back uh, with a um, card tucked here on the side. Otherwise, everything, all of the envelopes here are empty uh, so that you could use them to store your travel receipts, um, postcards uh, that you pick up, uh, or ephemera you might use in your own um, junk journals. And so um, it does have uh, plenty of room for expansion. So um, this is a, a fun journal and I think perfect for travel. And the elastic closure and a nice red pen because, you know, why not? So this is a second item that's available in our shop. Uh, sec second strawberry item to be specific. We have lots of other items in the shop. And the last one is this junk journal, full-size junk journal, um, with a fabric spine. It has a removable, whoops, um, removable uh, tassel. Here, I, it just popped loose there. I will fix that um, in a minute. Um, the three th signatures were sewn directly into the spine, and uh, the front is embellished with layers of fabric and um, strawberry images, uh, antique lace. Uh, the closure is this beautiful red crinkle ribbon and the back is also 
um, embellished with a little, just a little strawberry image and some music. And on the inside, uh, we have uh, a, a quote by Emily Dickinson from one of her poems, over the fence, strawberries grow, over the fence. I could climb if I tried, I know, berries are nice. And so um, everything in here, th this is pretty full. I, did, I made a lot of ephemera. So uh, here's uh, one of the little strawberry paper clips and this coin envelope has a small card in it. Pages are all coffee stained. Um, here's a wraparound belly band and it has um, cards, or, sorry, large tags on each side. Some hand dyed paper, it's a paper bag with a journaling card in it. A little bit of lace and lots of things tucked in here. Cards and tickets and tags. Oh my. Some book pages and music pages. Here's an over the um, top tag. And a strawberry page from Edith Holden. A small paper bag with a tag. And then another one here on the side. About 160 pages altogether. The book measures nine by six by about two and three quarters. On this paper bag, the side of the paper bag has a little junk journal style uh, notebook in there. fun uh, red um, pom-poms. A little cluster on the top there. Um, these are library cards, two library uh, card catalog cards that I've sewn together. And then I decoupage some napkin on top of it and then collaged. And there's a tag inside and the tag has a um, strawberry charm. I just paper clipped this on onto the side of the page. And that's the first signature, the second signature, another cluster. Here's a small uh, card and tag. So this gorgeous uh, dyed wax paper, side tuck, another library card catalog card. A pocket and some ephemera cards, a little bit of lace, lace fabric on the bottom of this page. And this is a double pocket. The one pocket is um, behind uh, the paper bag, and then this gets tucked on the inside. And then, of course, the little pocket mini pocket with the mini cards. And there's a large paper bag, it's a popcorn bag actually, with uh, a large card. And on the side there's another journaling card there. Another cluster. Lots of kind of random sewing on the pages. A little floating pocket here in the middle that has some um, off cuts and papers for journaling. A large side pocket here with a card and uh, some more printed paper. It's another coin envelope with another strawberry paper clip. And I can't remember what I tucked in here. A little, a little notepad. A pocket with some 
journaling cards. And the last signature, a little bit of red rickrack, lined paper, this glassine envelope with this fun little card and a cluster of vintage button and charm on there. This is another paper bag and I put a large card in here with an ink um, that I inked and on the back it has a place for uh, for writing there's some more of that strawberry fabric our policy envelope has a card another pocket with journaling cards Here's another over-the-top journaling card. Uh, the center of the signature has another Edith Holden strawberry page. And here's another over-the-top uh, double, double tag. Um, I lined this with paper bag. <laughs> another music page. Here's the flap for the policy envelope. I turn that into a pocket. And the other side of the paper bag has um, I sewed down the middle, so it's two pockets. And they each have a couple of journaling cards in them. Here's a corner tuck. And that's the end of the signature. So, um, these three strawberry projects are currently available in our Etsy shop. I will put the link to that below. Um, if you haven't checked out the shop, we'd appreciate it. Um, even if you don't uh, buy anything, we like to um, kind of show off the things that we've made. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, a positive comment is always appreciated. Um, we are going to be having a giveaway pretty soon, so keep your eyes open for that. I think Betsy was in the process of making our giveaway pro um, prize. Um, so uh, check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, and of course on Etsy. So thank you everybody for joining me today. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you later. Bye-bye everybody.